It is um, a chance for students to conduct real-world, hands-on scientific uh, experiments using the scientific method and then feed those results into the apps program, which then goes into a global database. So, for example, if other scientists are tracking um, activity in, in Belize's mangrove, but aren't able to come here for hands-on research. This is a way for students to go out, collect that data, and personally contribute to the world's trove of information and the growing body of knowledge. So NASA is one of the agencies uh, that is sponsoring this program uh, through the provision of technology and, and some of their scientists. Uh, where Department of State is also intricately involved in this program, so it's really an interagency effort, also uh, education platforms to help uh, you know, the new custodians of knowledge for the future, bringing them into real-world uh, problem solving. The National Curriculum Framework, um, is this program is directly aligned to that because the National Curriculum Framework that we launched recently um, identifies and prioritizes science and technology as a key component of Belize's education curriculum. Um, so. At every level of our education system, our students are going to be exposed to science and technology. You have to start somewhere, and so along with GLOBE, we, we decided that we would start at the high school level. Uh, that's where we will start first. Um, but hopefully, and, and, and you know, we obviously want to expand beyond that. Um, as we said, science and technology, we want to expose our students, even at the preschool level, to basic science and technology concepts. Um, and then, of course, at the primary school level. Um, so it's something we're starting at the high school level, but of course, over time, we will expand to the entire educational system.